Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. This video is all about fixing the issue with Valorant when 9005 error. This version of Vanguard requires TPM version 2.0 and UEFI complaint firmware in order to use VBS. So without wasting time, let's go ahead and directly proceed with the resolution. First of all, right click on start menu and choose the option there. Type here MS Info32 and then hit the enter key. Here you need to press the B key to find the BIOS mode. In BIOS mode, it must be UEFI. If it is MBR, then you need to convert your MBR BIOS mode to UEFI mode by entering into the BIOS of your system. And next is press the V key. Here, virtualization based security, it must be turned off. And thirdly, again open run command and type here tpm.msc and then hit the enter key. Here also, you must have this particular option that TPM is ready for use and the specification must be 2.0. So these are the basic requirements to fulfill in order to play Valorant. So let's go ahead and fix out the issue for you. I'm going to start menu and type CMD. Run CMD as an administrator. Here you need to paste a command which I will share you in the description of this video. Copy and paste the command by pressing the Ctrl V button. Once pasted, hit the enter key. This will disable virtual technology platform. Once disabled, click on the start menu and open Windows Defender. Here scroll down and click on device security and you will find the option of core isolation. Click on it. If it is enabled, make sure to disable it. Once you disable memory integrity, as it is saying, you must restart your system. So go ahead, restart your PC and then launch the game to fix out the issue of when 9005 error. Now if this method failed to work out and your BIOS mode is MBR, you need to convert MBR to UEFI. To do so, I have a tutorial. Use this tutorial to convert MBR to GPT. Once converted your disk, your system will restart and directly enter into the BIOS mode. In BIOS mode, you need to change your BIOS mode from MBR to UEFI. Here are different BIOS keys for different manufacturers. Once you restart your system, you need to press the corresponding key to enter into the BIOS mode. For example, for Dell laptop, you need to press the F2 key or F12 key. As soon as you restart your system, you need to keep on tapping that particular key until you enter into the BIOS mode of your system. After entering into the BIOS menu, first of all, under the boot tab, you will find the option of UEFI mode. Go ahead, hit the enter key and using the up and down arrow keys, select UEFI. Once it is done, again in the boot menu, you will find the option of secure boot. Again hit the enter key and choose the enable to enable the secure boot. And lastly is CSM mode. Make sure under the boot device control, you choose the option UEFI only. Once you've done these three settings, press the F10 key to save the changes and then restart your PC. Now after converting your disk from MBR to GPT and then in BIOS mode, enabling UEFI mode and turning on secure boot, you need to switch your CSM mode to UEFI only. You need to disable your SVM or Intel virtualization technology. SVM is for AMD users, which means secure virtual machine. So for different manufacturers, especially for AMD, as it is showing right over here, you need to enter into the BIOS mode, then click on the advanced settings and here you will find the option of SVM mode. Hit the enter key and then using the up and down arrow keys, choose the option disable and then press the F10 key to save and exit. For Intel users, they simply head over to BIOS menu advanced mode sometimes it may found in the overclocking tab and then advanced cpu configuration and then you will find the option of svm mode again hit the enter key and then use the up and down arrow key and select the option disable and then press the f10 key to save and exit the bios menu svm mode is for amd users and for intel you will find intel virtualization technology again in the advanced mode in the advanced menu of your bios so make sure you disable Intel virtualization technology or SVM for AMD users. Once it is done, restart your system and then launch the Valorant and this will completely fix out the issue of when 9005 error. This version of Vanguard required TPM version 2.0 and UEFI complaint firmware in order to use VBS. So this is all about it friends. If this video works out for you, 
I request you to please click on the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification icon to continue receiving updates from my channel. Thank you so much friends. Thank you for watching.